Hi guys, now this video is for everyone who has recently started their A-level course. So you might have been working on it for a couple of weeks or maybe even up to a month. And I just wanted to check in and let me know in the comments below, how are you finding it? Because I know a lot of my tutees are like, whoa, this is a huge step up. And I know that they're feeling quite stressed about having done super well at GCSE and IGCSE and I'm so proud of them, but they are finding it a pretty enormous step up in terms of content difficulty, how the school teachers are approaching teaching them, and just generally feeling a bit overwhelmed. And is that a feeling that you're feeling too? Well, the point is you're not alone. So I'm making this video to kind of reassure you and to help you and to make sure you're in the best position possible when you come to sit your exams. Because you know what? A-levels are difficult and a lot of you guys will have done super well in your GCSEs and you'll probably be like, why am I finding this so hard? And it is a fact that objectively A-levels are really difficult. So first of all, if you are taking four A-level subjects at the moment and you're finding it really, really tough, it is absolutely fine to take three A-level subjects. And equally, if you're taking three A-level subjects and being like, why is she talking about four? It's perfectly fine to sit three A-level subjects. And personally, that's what I did. And I concentrated on making sure that my grades were as high as possible in those three A-level subjects. And I made sure I didn't take an extra one because I didn't want to dilute my final grades. So that's the first thing. There's absolutely no shame in looking at your four subjects if you are taking four and deciding to drop one. So please, please don't worry about that. Equally, if you're finding you're not, you know, you're not clicking with a particular subject, um, for example, chemistry, chemistry is really difficult. Physics is really difficult as a, it's a massive, massive step up, as in fact, all the subjects are. Again, you can change your options and don't let anyone dissuade you from that. I've had personal students in the past that have changed to, from Spanish actually to chemistry as late on as half term. So please make a decision for yourselves. And if that's something that you want to do, it is absolutely fine to go and talk to your head of sixth form, whoever it is, at school and have that discussion with them and really lay out the reasons why you're not happy. You, This is your life. You're going to be spending an awful lot of time over the next few years preparing for these exams. It needs to be in a subject that you're comfortable with and you feel happy with. Next up, you need to get really organised. Because of the fact that these exams aren't modular anymore and you sit them at the end of year 13 and there is a massive amount of content, you cannot bury your head at the in the sand at this point. Even though the exams feel super long, like a long time away, that time will pass quite quickly and you won't have the time later on to fill in those gaps, sort out your understanding. So you need to stay on top of your work right now. Now, I've been getting reports of teaching styles changing an awful lot at A-level. There's a lot more of an onus on independent work, preparing you for uni, which obviously has some huge benefits, but equally, this content does need to be taught to you and you do need to have it all explained to you. So if you're finding that your school is having a very hands-off approach, first of all, you should talk to your teachers about it. Say you need extra help, ask for extra sessions. Equally, there's a whole range of resources available on the internet. So whether that's making sure you're like looking at energy sub-levels, for example, in chemistry, I have videos on that. Don't just let things like electronic configurations pass you by, particularly in a subject like chemistry, which will keep building on those foundations. Equally in biology, if you're not happy with the structure of glucose, these are things you do need to sort now. They're not things you wanna be sorting out when you're supposed to be revising the whole course at the end of those two years. So I would say, please, please get organized, be responsible for your learning because you don't wanna be in a situation in two years time where it's just too much and you have too much on your plate. But yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. I'm going to be trying to make more and more of these kind of supportive videos, more chatty videos. Let me know what you'd like to see from me. Um, but yeah, how are you finding the first few weeks of your A-levels?